Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, bringing you a new video, or I guess an updated video, because I did a USPS uh, mail integration uh, about a year ago or so. But of course, as you probably already know, um, the USPS mail component has kind of been broken, at least the one that's uh, built into Home Assistant. It's been broken for a while, and uh, it kind of sucks. I really liked having it. I signed up for the informed delivery uh, through the post office, and uh, I liked getting the little images and everything and being able to set up automations and stuff with that in Home Assistant. So I was really disappointed when that uh, component quit working. So um, I've been scrounging around trying to find an alternative and I think I might have found one. In my searches, I was able to find uh, this guy that has done a, uh, has built his own custom scripts and stuff to pull this information down and be able to uh, give us all that information like we had before with uh, how many uh, mail items were coming in the mail, how many packages, and uh, you know, an image of what those uh, letters looked like. So that's kind of cool. So we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, there's also a link to it here uh, from the Home Assistant uh, forum pages, and I'll have uh, all these in the description below so you can take a look at everything and uh, kind of see for yourself uh, how we set this up and what all we use to get this working. Honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. I like to be able to show uh, what mail is coming in the mail that day on my Home Assistant front end, so uh, I'm definitely looking forward to getting this back working again. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So, of course, for starters, we'll kind of go over the prerequisites uh, for this setup because there are a couple of things that you'll need to do in order for this to work properly. Next, uh, we will install the USPS Python script. We'll basically pull it off their uh, page, get it saved to our Home Assistant configuration. Once that's done, we are going to set up the script to run as a service. So, uh, since this kind of runs uh, in Python and it runs as a script, we don't have to run it in Home Assistant necessarily, at least not this part of it. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll just run it on our Docker host machine. Um, I think that's an easy way to do it and it should still run as a service. It won't tie up too much memory or anything. So I think we'll be good with that. Once we do all that, then we're going to add the component into Home Assistant. And then of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so again, obviously for this to work properly, you need to have signed up for the informed delivery on the USPS webpage. So once you uh, sign up for all that, make sure you uh, set up to get the email alerts and everything whenever the every day for the new mail that's coming into your, uh, coming to your house. And once we do all that, then there's a couple other prerequisites. So we need to make sure we have uh, Hello MQTT and image magic installed so we're going to run through the setup with that so basically from the command line on my docker host i'm just going to do a sudo pip install peho dash mqtt that's p-a-h-o dash mqtt and of course as you can see i've already got it installed uh if you didn't then of course it'll run through the install there next we need to install image magic again we're going to do that the same way we'll do a sudo apt git install image magic and i'll have all this in the description below so you can copy and paste it and as you can see here i've already got it installed as well if you didn't of course it would go through the install process right here once we have all that done we're ready to move on to the next step all right so now we need to get the uh, python script on our uh, docker host machine it can be running on any linux machine or any machine for that matter i like to keep everything kind of close together. So I think the best setup for me was to just run it on a machine that already has my Home Assistant Docker image running anyway. So we're basically gonna highlight all this. I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna paste it into a text file here and save it as a usps.py. Of course, since I'm already here, we're gonna go up to the top and edit all the information for my setup. So of course we'll um, add in the uh, MQTT server, which uh, for my MQTT setup, and then the uh, password and username here. And then of course down here where it talks about the uh, 
email host. Now that's this is the email account that your informed delivery post office emails come in. So for me, I have mine going to a Gmail account. So we're gonna add all that information in here. And then lastly, I'm gonna change the image output path. Now this is where you want it to save the images to. Now I want them to be in my www directory of home assistant. So I'm just gonna put the path to my home assistant config directory uh, slash www. So that's what I did here. Like I said, we're gonna save it as usps.py. All right, so in my uh, home assistant config directory, as you can see here, I'm gonna add this into the includes folder. You should already have an includes folder in your home assistant config. If you don't, feel free to create one. It won't make a difference. I already have one here, so I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna create a directory called mail. Again, you don't have to, this is just the way I set it up. And then I'm gonna paste this uh, pi script in here, usps.py, this is the one that we just uh, saved. And then one last thing we need to do, as you can see here, we need to get a copy of this nomails.gif file here. And I'm gonna paste this somewhere as well. So we'll go ahead and save this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this in the uh, my home assistant configuration slash www directory. So get that in there. Once we have all that in there, then we are ready to move on to the next step. All right, because this is a uh, Python script, we need to set up a way for it to automatically run whenever we need it to. So um, you want it to run regularly to check for any new uh, any new emails that have come in uh, for that day. You know, generally my emails come every morning uh, fairly early, but uh, sometimes they come a little bit later. So you want it to check every so often for that new email to come in, and it's going to look for a specific email in your inbox. So as you can see here, this is our uh, the information we need to uh, set up our service file. It'll point to that, uh, that Python script. So of course, back on the command line, we're gonna do uh, uh, sudo vi slash etsy slash systemd slash system slash usps dot service. And that's what I'm gonna call the service file. Then of course, we're gonna put all that information in here. So for the unit, uh, see description is gonna be USPS mail retriever. After we'll equal network.target. Uh, requires again will be network.target. And then under service. Now this is the uh, information you'll need to change depending on where you put your Python script. So for me, exec start, uh, let's see, slash user, slash bin, slash Python three. And then of course the path to my uh, Python script, which is slash home, slash Adrian, slash home underscore assistant, slash includes, slash mail, slash USPS.py. Yours will be different depending on where you put that Python script. Uh, restart, we'll set that to on-failure. Uh, restart sec, we'll set that to five. Now under install, we're just gonna have wanted by equals multi-user.target. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then we're gonna do a sudo systemctl dash dash system daemon dash reload give that a second to come back and then of course sudo systemctl enable usps.service sudo systemctl start usps.service And just to uh, go ahead and check and make sure everything's working okay, we're gonna do a sudo systemctl status usps.service. As you can see here, it says it found three mail images. It's gonna create that animated GIF for us and dump it in that www directory. 
which is exactly what we want it to do. So everything looks good. Now we are ready to move on to that next step. All right, so now we are ready to add the component into Home Assistant. And as you can see here, again, we're just going to basically uh, copy this right here, and we're going to create a USPS.yaml file that we are going to uh, put in our Home Assistant config directory. So we'll copy all this here, and then, of course, we'll paste it into a, uh, another text file here. And then um, all I really need to do is update the uh, camera URL to point to my uh, Home Assistant uh, setup. Then we're going to save it to USPS.yaml. And then I'm going to add it into a packages directory. So I don't know if you if you don't already have any packages set up in your Home Assistant setup, you can create a packages folder uh, to add any additional packages that you uh, might want to add. And I'll put a link in the description to kind of give you a better understanding of what packages are. But we're going to go basically create a packages folder and we're going to copy this USPS.yaml file into this folder. And this is all in your Home Assistant config directory. Once we have that in there, then we are going to basically uh, edit our uh, configuration.yaml file and tell it where this packages file or folder is. So um, as you can see here, right underneath uh, customize, I have added a line for packages and basically said include directory named packages. Once we have that in there, we'll jump over to uh, Home Assistant. We'll go ahead and check the config to make sure everything is good. And then, of course, we're going to restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. In the meantime, we'll jump over to this last step and see what it looks like in action. All right, so here we are at my uh, Home Assistant front end. I kind of uh, zoomed in a little bit here just to the main area. But as you can see here, I've got two sensors, one for mail, one for packages. And the mail sensor there shows three items. So that means I got three items coming in the mail today. And then, of course, I have it blurred out. But this is the picture of my mail items. And it changes every so many seconds. Uh, it just kind of runs through a, uh, a rotation of all of the three items that are coming in. So just over and over again. But, uh, you know, kind of cool. I like it. Like I said, it's on my web front end. It's nice. Anytime I want to look at uh, Home Assistant, I can see what mail will be delivered that day. So it's kind of cool. Another cool thing you can do with this, I didn't do it in this video. Uh, I mean, if it's something you guys want to see, let me know, and we can certainly do a follow-up video on that. But it is to uh, create a uh, an automatic notification that will come to your phone and show you uh, your mail and how much mail is being delivered. You can set it up to run every afternoon or something just uh, if you want that to pop up as a notification on your phone. So that's another cool thing that you can do uh, with this uh, setup here. But that's pretty much it, guys. That is the end of this video. Um, not super long. I uh, tried to get as detailed as I possibly could just to show you everything that you need to do to get this working. I really like it. I'm glad to have a functioning uh, USPS uh, component again, so that's kind of cool. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, for starters, we went over a few prerequisites that we needed to get this working properly. Uh, once we did that, then we installed the USPS Python script on our uh, Docker host machine. Uh, once that was done, we set it up to run as a service so that it would automatically run. Uh, once we did that, then of course we added our component into Home Assistant uh, so that we'll have the ability to view these uh, in the web front end. And then of course, lastly, uh, I showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, like I said, I really like the script. Uh, this whole setup is really cool. If you haven't got your mail functioning, uh, if you haven't got the USPS sensor working again, this is definitely a good way to do that, uh, and it seems to be pretty solid. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.